Hey everybody, it's Richie here from Scoot the Harbor, and I'm here today with one of my little fur babies, Jasmine, one of two little cats I have. She's a little sweetheart. Once you start petting her, boy, you're in trouble. Anyways, we're here to do a video today on inflation. No, not that kind of inflation, tire inflation. And I want to kind of do this video because I'm old school. And I hate to say it, but this and one of these is what I was using to fill my tires up before. Really old school and really honestly a pain in the ass. Um, in comes new technology. We have the Xiaomi Magia Pump. I got this for Christmas from Ginger on Wheels. My buddy Ginger, uh, thank you Ginger, I appreciate you. And it's really a nice little pump. It's got bike mode, it's got motorcycle mode, and it's got car mode. And it's really a very compact, very powerful little pump. It weighs about a pound. And I believe it's like about five by three by about two by about seven and a half total. Um, and it's got an 18650 2000 amp hour battery, so you get quite a few fills out of a battery like that. Um, nice thing is it's got a built-in light, got a nice digital display. And one of the things that I really, really like about it is this. Built-in safety things. So if this is not pulled out, it can't go on, which is really nice when you keep it in your scooter purse because it doesn't go on automatically. And I really, really like that. Also, I have noticed if it should happen to come on, if you don't use it in a certain amount of time, it goes off all by itself. So that's cool. One way or another, at least the pump is going to probably be there when you need it. Um, another thing I want to say too is it takes about three hours to charge this thing. It's got a micro USB charger. Um, Pretty much a very simple pump to use. You set the pressure, you set the type of tire you want to use, you set your range, uh, you set your pressure, and that's about it. It goes from about 3 PSI up to 150 PSI, so you can feel some of those road bike tires out there too. Um, and I really, I really like the pump, but one thing that drives me nuts about these type of connectors is when you pump up your tire, by the time you've unscrewed this, you've already lost three, four pounds of pressure. So now when you fill up your tire, you gotta put an extra three or four pounds in there because you know you're gonna lose it. Well, in comes this little device right here. Really, really super sweet device right here. And it's called, it's called the Jayco Lightning 2SX Tire Inflator and Hose Extender. And really all it is, it extends the hose an extra seven inches and it's got a quick release. So you lose no pressure at all. As soon as you feel the tire up, you go like that, pst, comes right off. You don't lose a single pound. So this is a sweet little addition right here. The Jayco Lightning 2SX uh, No Loss uh, Hose Extension. Very, very nice little, uh, very nice little item right there. Um, Another thing I kind of want to talk about a little bit too is the Phobos, the Phobos 2 bike TPMS set. I mean, it comes with two, and this thing is so sweet. If you're like me and you get tired of getting down on your hands and knees every time you got to check the tire pressure, these are golden. These are really golden because I got tired of getting down on my hands and knees every time we took a ride. And yeah, you really kind of do have to check your tire pressure every time you ride. Um, so these are really sweet because you go in, it's got an app on your phone. You go in there to the app, you set the pressure that you want. You set the minimum pressure that you'd want to allow and the highest pressure that you'd want to allow. And if you're riding along and your tire gets below that pressure, an alarm will go off. And that's really, really nice because I was out riding one day on the e-move cruiser and I decided to go do a little bit of off-roading and didn't know it, but I got a flat tire. And I rode halfway home and I was noticing that the bumps sounded different and things just felt a little bit different. So I hopped off and I started looking around and I'm like, whoa, I got a flat tire. And so I walked the rest of the way home. And if I had had one of these, I probably wouldn't have rode halfway home on a flat tire. Probably not good. But these right here, $99 from Amazon, Phobos 2, um, bike TPMS, great addition to any scooter. They look a little bit silly, but man, they sure are nice. You know, I think that's really about all I have. Oh, let's talk about tire pressure a little bit. I wanna talk about my tires in specific. They hold, my NAMI tires take 50 pounds of pressure is what it says in the tire, which you always wanna go by what it says in the tire. 
And like in my opinion, if you want a little extra traction, you can run them about three to five pounds less than the recommended and you get a little bit better contact with the street. If you want a little higher top end, you can run them about three to five pounds higher than recommended and you're probably gonna get a little top, to higher top end because it makes the tire a little bit rounder. So, also I've heard that heavier riders, um, 175, 185, you know, higher than that, um, it's always good to go about three to five pounds higher than the recommended, and lighter riders like myself, um, I've heard it's best to go about three to five pounds less than the recommended pressure. So that's kind of what I do. I run them about, mine about 47, 48, right in there. Um, really, I think that's... Uh, but all I really need to say today on the whole subject of uh, inflation. Um, also, I want to mention that no, my mic holder is not available on Amazon. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I want you to all have a nice day. And remember, if you stay on your scooter, it hurts a whole lot less. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.